Yes. Okay, so it'll be posted on the e-learning uh, platform, and uh, that should help e-learners uh, address, you know, uh, some of the questions that they may have as well. So we will go through the guidelines, which is posted on the classwork section on the main Audi. So for all our online students, if you could please download that um, and uh, follow along, that would be really helpful. And for our on-campus batch, we are projecting the guidelines. There are some sections uh, which are additional to what we have here for the online batch, uh, which is for our on-campus students. Now, those um, sections are about afternoon sessions, and it's about uh, some of our guidelines for classes here on campus and uh, living uh, here at the hostels and you know things like that and how we do things here on campus so that's the additional portion which we are going to take up uh, together with all of you uh, here in in the afternoon so let's begin with uh, the guidelines for the online students but if there are any other questions, you know, maybe something completely different from what we are talking here about, that's fine. You can still ask and clarify. Okay, let's uh, get started. So APC Bible College, as we've uh, been saying, uh, is here to equip us in our relationship with the Lord and uh, also to equip us as ministers of God. So what we engage with here is doctrinally sound and uh, an internet intellectually stimulating study of God's word. Uh, while there will be study of God's word, there is also uh, an emphasis on the supernatural. So you would see that in some of the subjects, the courses that we cover, uh, as well as um, you know some of some of the sessions that we have uh, like here on campus we have something known as supernatural hour where we will spend time worshiping the lord uh, we will spend time hearing from the lord moving in the gifts of the spirit and so on so while there is study of the word there's also an emphasis on the work of the holy spirit and we want us to develop deep roots uh, in god's word and also to fully demonstrate the power of God. So that's like a gist of what we, we want to equip our students in. Uh, now coming to the programs that are offered, I've already touched upon that. We have a one-year program, which would be a certificate in theology and Christian ministry. So one year means two semesters. Students will have to um, complete the requirements for two semesters and the number of subjects that are uh, expected to be completed at the end of these two semesters is 16, 16 subjects or 16 courses. So once the students have completed that, you know, they will be eligible for the certificate, one year certificate in theology and Christian ministry. Two years would be a diploma and uh, you know, two years means four semesters. And so students will have to cover eight courses per semester. That totals up to uh, 32 courses. So they'll have to complete 32 courses at the end of two years to be eligible for a diploma degree. And um, bachelors of uh, theology and Christian ministry would be a three-year program, uh, thereby you know, it, it will cover 48 courses. And so students have to complete the requirements for all 48 courses to be uh, eligible. Now, those who are doing select courses, um, you know, you can just pick the courses that you prefer. Uh, and uh, but that would not be work that would not help you uh, get a certificate or diploma uh, or bachelors. I'll just pause for a moment. Thank you. Now coming to uh, the next section, which is about the semesters. So we work uh, 
by a semester system. We have the fall semester, which is from August to November in the year. So that, that's what we are starting out uh, right now, August to November, uh, which is uh, roughly four months. And then we will have a spring semester, spring semester from January to April. So that again is roughly four months. Uh, there is vacation time in between. So December is vacation and um, May to July are also vacation months where we encourage our students. I know it's vacation from college, but you know, we can go back, students can go back, uh, they can serve at their own uh, locations, help your past. Sorry about that, everyone, but uh, I want to show you that we have missed any information. We just uh, missed out on where we stopped. All right, so uh, we were talking about the semester system and uh, saying that in between the semesters, we have vacation time, which uh, students can utilize to serve. We learn so much at the Bible College, so we use that time to. Um apply what we have learned here. Now, regarding the attendance policy, for the online students as well as those who are here on campus, there is a requirement of 85% attendance. Okay, so <coughs> we're quite strict on this. Our uh, yeah, earlier batch uh, is aware. Uh, we need to maintain attendance of 85%, even those joining us online. 
So kindly make a note of this. Along uh, with this, there will be a requirement to complete the courses, like the marks, the grading uh, as well. So attendance is one criteria. And the other one is to pass uh, all the courses with uh, at least a minimum of 35 marks. So only if both of these criteria are met, students have fulfilled the requirement for the course and they can be, uh, uh, you know, they, they can receive completion for that course. So this is uh, the requirement. So attendance policy uh, for the online students, we have Google Meet, which actually records your time in class. And so that's how we measure the attendance. So please make sure that you're connected to class on time and uh, stay on you know, till the end of the classes. Now coming to fees, tuition fees for one semester is 6,000 Indian rupees. Uh, this would be um, 85 US dollars for those uh, of our international students who uh, may be paying towards these courses. Now, if students want to pay for only one course at a time, it will be a thousand Indian rupees, which uh, is an equivalent of 20 US dollars for the international students. Uh, and um, generally, um, you know, for our on-campus batch here, uh, you can complete your uh, fee payment formalities uh, in, in the first one or two weeks. And similarly, for those of us who are going to be studying online, uh, in the first two weeks, we are required to pay up our fees in full. Uh, it is slightly different for the e-learners. The courses offered on the e-learning platform are completely free. Uh, but students who would like to pay for the courses uh, can pay 500 rupees per course on e-learning e platform, or that's an equivalent of seven dollars, seven US dollars. Uh, for payment, we have our bank details up on the APC Bible College website. You can use those details. Uh, if you could please come down the slide. Uh, the payment details. Uh, which can be used to make the transfers. But once the payment is done, we request you to notify the college. How are you going to do that? You would need to write to accounts at apcbiblecollege.org on our website as well as the guidelines document. We've requested you to include some details when you mail us, um, details such as the full name of the applicant, the date of payment, the amount which was paid by you, you know, um, and uh, the name of the originating bank, your city, country. So please make sure that all of this is included in the email. And uh, that's how we will be aware that a student has paid up. For the online students, there is a tuition waiver option which generally uh, students can uh, opt for during application. So during application, you can request for tuition waiver and uh, you know that will be granted to you. For the on-campus students, it's slightly different. The scholarships are fewer for the on-campus students. Now coming to the next section here regarding enrollment and withdrawal. All students are considered enrolled when they get, um, you know, an acceptance letter from. Now, first two weeks of joining the, uh, if any student wants to withdraw, they don't want to continue. They can no in writing. So, uh, you know, that is also that provision is available for us. Talking about. Uh, the study, homework, and research. We will have classes happening here uh, every day through the week. Now, over and above the classes, the students are expected to spend personal time in study. There will be homeworks, there will be assignments, and uh, you know, uh, research work uh, can also engage in additional time uh, together with the 
your um, daily class this time. So you need to make time for this you know, study. And that is uh, the responsibility of our students. And we request you to please make time to uh, have personal study as well. Regarding Google Classroom uh, and uh, how to actually complete assignments on Google Classroom, we will have uh, an elaborate session on Friday for our new online students. Uh, our earlier batches are already familiar, but you're most welcome to join us. So that is part of our orientation uh, schedule. You can please have a look at it. So how to do an assignment, how to submit the assignments, uh, and um, the kind of assignments that are given depends on uh, each faculty. So you may see that you know each of the faculty uh, have a different way of giving assignments, and so you know it it will uh, really depend on the course and the faculty. Talking about examinations. Examinations, we follow a grading system here. When marks are obtained um, from 91% to 100%, that would be a grade A+, plus, uh, uh, 76 to 90% grade A. So it's already here uh, for us to note, but I'm just reading it out uh, so that we don't miss it. 51 to 75% a grade B. 35 to 50% grade C. So anything above grade C is nice. Okay, uh, A plus is excellent, and that's what we should all be aiming for. But below 35% is what is considered as fail. Okay, so I uh, uh, just want to encourage us, all the uh, students, to ensure that you know we we score above 35. So this is one requirement. And the other requirement, as I said earlier, is attendance. So even if a student has scored well, but their attendance is below 85%, they would still fail in the course. So we're very strict about that. And we want all our students to please take note of that. We have a strict policy against, uh, against cheating, plagiarism, uh, and uh, you know, kindly go through the details that we have uh, written out in our guidelines. For the e-learners, uh, we know that e-learners are spending time doing the course uh, you know, on their own, in their convenient time. So attendance is not something that will be measured for e-learners. But for the e-learners, there is a requirement to complete all the assignments that are given on the platform um, and to score. Uh, the minimum marks of 35% to complete that e-learning course, which has been taken up. So that's a requirement for e-learning students. I'm going to quickly skip to section 10 here, and then I'll come back to 9 towards the end. Section 10, where we are saying that uh, each one of us must grow in our faith and uh, personal uh, you know, walk with the Lord. That is priority. Now, we know that all of us will be spending a lot of time in God's Word because we are in Bible college. You know, we're attending classes, we're learning, we're teaching. Uh, but that, uh, that is not a replacement for our personal time of devotion to the Lord. So our personal time of prayer, our personal time of studying God's Word, uh, you know, that is something that we have to take care of. Make sure that we keep our spiritual walk strong. Section 11 is a list of all the courses that are offered in each year. So this will give you an idea. You know, many of our students ask the question, what are the courses that I must enroll for during the semester? So you can go through this list. Um, in the first year list here, eight subjects will be offered during the fall semester and the remaining eight during the spring semester. So students must ensure that they sign up for all the eight which are being offered in that semester. And similarly, you know, second year and third year. 
student enquiries. If students have questions that you want to ask the college or um, the faculty, uh, if it is pertaining to fees, then write to accounts at apcbiblecollege.org. Uh, if it's any you know, other question, you can please write to admin at apcbiblecollege.org. Bible Org, and you know we'll be here to address uh, those questions. And because we are students um, here at APC Bible College, we want to encourage every single one of us, those of us on campus, online, e-learn, that um, you know we we live in a manner that it brings glory to God uh, and uh, live as examples. Uh, all students are requested to demonstrate a godly respect towards uh, faculty uh, and also to interact cordially with the others, you know, other students. Uh, we may meet them online or we may meet them uh, on campus, but to maintain uh, respectful communication and interaction. So we do encourage all our students to serve in their uh, local churches over the weekends, uh, those of us who are campus residents, you will be serving at uh, our APC locations, currently uh, at APC Central. Uh, but we, we see this as important. So over the weekends, there will definitely be some or the other ministry that you will be engaging in. And uh, uh, those of us who uh, are, you know, uh, Attending other churches, we encourage you to do that. If you could serve and help your pastors, that would be wonderful. Now, I'll just come back to uh, section 9 and briefly go over it. After that, I'll open up for a time of questions. So if you have uh, any new questions apart from what we've covered or just want to clarify what we have talked about so far, you can please feel free to ask. Um, so we'll pass a mic for our students here and our online students kindly uh, unmute and ask. So section nine, which would be our frequently asked questions. So this is something students ask. They say, um, is it okay now I'm doing on campus? What if I uh, switch to online mode? Will you know my attendance be counted or what if I switch from that to e-learning? So switching from one mode to the other. So what we recommend is that students enroll in a course only in one learning option at a time. So let's say fall 2024 semester, and I'm taking up a prayer and intercession. It would be good if I pick only one mode. That means if I'm doing it on campus, it's best to start on campus and finish on campus. Uh, if I'm doing it online, it's best to start online and finish online. Similarly, you know, Elon. Uh, and uh, the reason why we're saying this is because it's easier for us to keep a track of your attendance and your marks. So switching may cause, uh, you know, some confusion. And that's the reason. But if there is an emergency, then, you know, contact us and we'll see what we can do to help you out. But this is the standard. Please enroll in one course, uh, only in one learning option at a time. I hope that is clear. Now, the next question that students generally ask, uh, can I take courses in any order or should I follow the order specified by the college? So we highly recommend that you follow the order recommended by the college. Uh, not that, you know, if, if you do it in your own order, it won't work out. It, it may, uh, but it's always better because uh, faculty take you through the courses systematically and we've planned it systematically. Uh, and so it will benefit you much more if you could please follow the order uh, which we have recommended. But of course, you know, if you're doing select courses because of limited time and then you pick courses here and there, it's fine. You can still do it. We're not saying you cannot do it. Okay. So uh, the next question that students ask are the requirements to pass a course the same in all three learning options? Uh, and I've already talked about it earlier. On campus and on online, uh, there is a requirement for 85% attendance and marks 
you know, above 35. Okay. Uh, now, when it comes to e-learn, there's no attendance there. So students are required to complete watching all the videos, complete all the assignments, and score a passing grade. So that's the requirement for e-learners. Can I take an e-learning course multiple times or again in the future as a refresher? Yes, most welcome to. So students, you're most welcome to uh, redo the courses as a refresher if you would like to. And we're always happy to have you back. Uh, and so the answer to that question is yes. You can. Do you offer credit? Do you offer transfer credit for completing a certificate program? So uh, here we do not offer transfer credit for completing a course. Now, when uh, there are students who want to join other colleges and you know they they want to see whether what they've learned here uh, there's some sort of a transfer of credit so that they can enter into the other colleges. Now, it completely depends on the colleges that are taking in the students. It's up to their um, you know, openness and discretion. Yes, some colleges do take our students that way, and uh, some don't. So uh, it depends on the colleges that are taking in the students. OK, uh, and another question, and I'm going to stop with this question and give you time to ask uh, your questions. People ask, will Christian organizations offer employment based on the course or courses or certificates, uh, certificate programs offered by APC Bible College? Now, again, uh, you know, we have seen uh, that our graduates are uh, doing fruitful ministry in different parts of uh, uh, the nation. And, um, uh, you know, it again depends on organizations that may be taking in our students. So uh, all our students, we can, we can boldly say that they're doing good ministry. Uh, and so, you know, uh, our graduates should be able to um, get into organizations. But then it also depends on the organizations if they want to take our students in. So there's no uh, hard and fast rule that they will, right? So we are just making that clear at the very outset. So these are some answers, but uh, I'm sure you have more questions. So please feel free, you can pose your questions, and we'll do our best to address them. Ma'am, this is Dr. Dayani Paul, ma'am. Yes, yes. Are you uh, hearing? Yes, yes. Uh, do you have any study material with you? Yes, Every we courses? can hear you. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Uh, you, you have a study material for every every age courses? Yes. So we have course uh, 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 material which will be posted uh, uh, in the courses. So on Google Classroom, there is a classwork uh, section. Our faculty uh, will post it. And uh, you know, only after that, the lectures will take place. Oh, they will post it in a, in a PDF form. Am I right? Yes, yes. And there, yes, there you, might you. be additional recommended reading as well. Uh, and so uh. that also they might mention. But yes, we post uh. our lecture notes or course notes in Google uh. Classroom. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, I am in e-learning. I am in e-learning, but I, I come to this, uh, this session for the but I am, I am not working. I am going to I am e-learning e student, but I am joining this course, this session for your for my well-being. Well Thank sure. you. Sure. So uh, yeah. it will be available on e-learning as well. So you don't have to worry. Oh, okay. About it. Yeah, it will be posted. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I can see a question here in the chat. And uh, after this, I'll come back to Sri Raj. Do we need, Daniel Oliver is asking, do we need to re-register to the course when we are continuing from first year or just attending second semester? So Daniel, you're a continuing student. Uh, you've complete, if you've completed your previous semester, you just have to enroll into the courses of the following semester. You don't have to reapply. OK? So if that's what you're asking, you don't have to reapply. Sure. Thank you. Yes, uh, Sriraj, I can see your hand raised. Please go ahead. Yeah, good morning, ma'am. Actually, morning. my question is that whether we have, they'll get the uh, study materials in a physical copy or it will be on the online itself. 
it will be online uh, shri raj not a physical copy it will be available online okay yeah okay that that is great yeah very yes. kind of you yeah. sure thank you praise the lord sister nancy yes, how are lord, you sister gertrude i am good how are you yeah just one query that uh, after one year certificate you get a actual certificate from the college or we just continue till we complete yeah. the whole degree okay so if you want to graduate with uh, you know the certificate then yes we we would give you the certificate but if you are continuing generally what continuing students do is whenever they want to stop let's say a student wants to study all 3 years that's when they apply for graduation they say okay now i want to graduate um and uh, then we give them the certificate and the graduation ceremony happens uh but until then you will be sent your marks cards okay thank you sister okay great thank you okay we have a few more questions here uh on chat uh, hopefully some here from our on campus batch soon uh so juliana is asking what do you mean by signing for each course offered uh so juliana on google classroom uh if uh, i and i think you are you're probably on e learn if if i'm not wrong uh, but for those who are on google classroom you would have received the class schedule and in the class schedule there are some uh, course codes using those course codes you will have to join all those courses okay so that's how it works on google classroom for e learn again on the uh, you know in the dashboard you'll have to go and pick the courses or enroll yourself into the courses that you want to do in the semester so that's what we mean when we say you have to sign up for all the required courses i hope um you know i've answered your question juliana please let me know if there is any confusion okay while we wait for juliana to respond i'll quickly uh, go ahead with andrew's question uh select teacher i am second year student should i apply once again to pay the remaining fees so andrew as i stated earlier for continuing students you don't have to reapply you already have a student id you would just continue with us yes of course for the new semester you will have to make the fee payment and the fee payment is as we shared earlier so the details are in the guidelines the bank account details you can go ahead make the payment notify our accounts i hope that clarifies your doubt Okay, John says once I complete the certificate course, can I continue for diploma and after that continue for graduation? Ah, uh, yes, John. So that's what we are saying. Once students have completed one year, if they choose to do the second year, you can continue with us. You can do the second year, and after the second year, if you would like to do the third year, of course you can do the third year. Whenever you want to graduate, you can let us know. So, uh, in this scenario, when a student has stayed on till three years, uh, they can ask to graduate with a bachelor's degree, and so that's how graduation happens. Okay, so uh, John, I hope that helps. Juliana. Okay, Juliana says, uh, "Well answered. Thank you. I'm online. Okay, great. She's online, so we'll see you in class, Juliana." Diana, the library facility available for online students? Um, no, we don't have uh, a library facility available right now. Okay, any other queries? Yes, uh, Shriraj. Yeah, uh, the question is like. See, uh, uh, after three years of completion, if I'm doing my certificate course, first one, okay, uh, is that directly after completion of my certification course, I can go for a uh, bachelor course, or is that uh, I have to complete my diploma course, then only I can go? Um, so, Shriraj, uh, I didn't quite get your question. So, are you saying that uh, after completing three years? which course no no go ahead with. yeah see if i complete my first year course okay okay if i want to take a bachelor course mm -hmm. is that i can do it or is that i have to mandatory do my diploma course 
No. So if you want to stop after one year, uh, you can graduate with just a certificate in theology. Yes, Pastor. Third year. OK. So yes, right. So in, for you to do the third year, you'll have to uh, continue with the second year and only then do the third year. Siraj, I hope uh, okay. that has addressed your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood. Yeah. yeah. Very kind of. OK, right. Yeah. Thank you for right. that. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's come back here. Mm. Yeah, Nisi uh, is asking if we do our first year online, can we do second year in e-learning mode? Yes, sir, Nisi. So you can do that. If you want to uh, switch after the semester, you can. You can switch to another mode. Daniel, hello, ma'am. Uh, new student, I joined with the link in Google Classroom, but there is no activity, no access to connect with admin when it will start. OK, so uh, uh, yes, so Daniel, classes are starting next week on Monday. So once you connect to the classes and they begin, you'll be able to you know, uh, interact with the staff. Uh, Shiva Kumar, Shiva Kumar uh, saying, Madam, I am third year student and wanted to know about the details on independent research paper. OK. So this is a course in our third year. Uh, and uh, the details will be shared with you by Pastor Jai Kumar. He'll be, doing, he'll be taking up this course. And so he will provide more information on this course. Uh, and I hope that's OK, uh, Shiv Kumar. Please let us know. Dainadi, after BTH, what should I go for higher studies? OK, so higher studies, uh, after that, Shiv Kumar, um, yeah, I think after the bachelor's is master's, you can apply. Any college? Somewhere. Yes. OK, so after a bachelor's, if you want to continue your theological education, uh, you could apply for a master's. Master's, MDiv, MTH, uh, in any institution of your choice. OK, Daniel Oliver, when will we get our Second semester. So it's already been sent to you, uh, Daniel. Kindly check. The mark sheets have already been sent. Yes. Uh, I, I saw Miriam. Miriam, you had a question. You were raising your hand. Please go ahead. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. I was uh, asking. Uh, if I continue up to master's and then get done, where are we graduating from? That's what I want to know. OK, where, where will you be graduating from? Yeah, yes. OK. Uh, yes, from study. Yes. So Miriam, uh, since you have, uh, you have enrolled at APC Bible College for your bachelor's degree, we will graduate you right, with a bachelor's. But you will graduate from the institution where you do your master's. So whichever institution that is. OK, I hope uh, that is clear. Is that OK, Miriam? Please let us know. All right. Uh, thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, did you want to ask a question? I saw you unmute there. But in the meantime, there are questions coming here in the chat. So, all right. We'll quickly go ahead with the questions uh, in the chat section. APC do not have MTH. Is that... So currently, we don't. Yeah. Pooja is saying, hello, ma'am, how the examination pattern will be for online students. So online students, uh, your exam questions or assignments will be posted on Google Classroom. OK? And you have to do your assignments on Google Classroom. We have, uh, even for the on-campus batch, 
all your exams and assignments will be online. So that's why on Friday we have a small training to um, show you how this can be done. So uh, Pucha, please do join the training on Friday and uh, you will have more details on that. Uh, Deepu is saying, ma'am, what if we miss to submit two subject in second semester, what to do next? Can I still continue in third semester? Okay, so let's uh, assume you missed doing two courses in a given semester or, uh, you know, a student failed. Uh, it's quite simple. You can continue with the subsequent next semester and uh, you, can, you can probably do those subjects which were missed on e-learn. So as long as you complete it, you know, that, that's what we are looking for. So you can probably do it on another mode and ensure that it's done. So that way, you know, that can also become part of your uh, uh, certificate, those marks. And, and so your time is not wasted. You can keep continuing to the next semester. I hope uh, that is helpful. Deepu, please let us know. Uh, okay, Mikhail Masi, ma'am, is APC affiliated with ATA or Serampur? Uh, no. Uh, Mikhail, we are not affiliated with ATA or Serampur. Uh, Pooja, yeah. Daniel says, I didn't receive any mail regarding the mark sheet of the second semester. I have not, I have not given few exams in second semester. Can that be the reason? Okay, uh, Daniel, I would uh, request you to check uh, in the email. Uh, that you are using to join your Google Classroom classes because the mark sheets have been sent. If there is an issue, we'll, we'll uh, you know, look into that. Sorry that uh, you're not able to locate your mark sheet. Yeah, or you can check your junk um, folder, spam folder. Sometimes it may have gone into that. All right, so we have addressed the questions here. We have uh, seven more minutes left. So if there are any questions, yes, please. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, refresher is always allowed. You can do it as a refresher. You can, but then I'm just wondering, because in terms of time, 9 to 12, if you're attending one class, you can't attend another class. You can do it on e-learn. So e-learn gives you the option, it, it gives you flexibility. Sorry, I didn't get that. No, so on e-learn, you courses are offered free. You can do it free. No, no. So uh, getting a degree doesn't mean that you know you you are a pastor who can uh, uh, yeah do these things. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, good questions. Thank you. Thank you for that. Any other questions? All right, uh, there are a few more questions. We'll see how many we can accommodate before we close off. Um, Shri Kumar says, is there any opportunity of e-learning students coming together once in a year? Okay. Ah, online, yes. So, uh, 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 Shri Raj, uh, there we have something called as the mentoring hour that happens every week. Uh, on Thursdays at 8 a.m., we encourage all our students, on-campus, online e-learners, to please join. Our faculty will also be there on that call. So that's a good time of interaction and, uh, you know, a good time of getting to uh, know one another. So it's happening every week. So please do join in. Dayanidhi says, is a APC affiliated to any university? No. Uh, 
Mikhail, Masi, Nam, if APC is not affiliated with ATA or Serampur, then would the certificate be valid professionally or for higher studies, especially outside India? So as we've stated, uh, Mikhail, the degrees that we are giving are very much valid. Okay, so uh, it depends on the institution that is taking you in for the higher degree. There are many students who have continued uh, with their higher studies. So you know, it will completely depend on the university that you approach after your graduation with APC. Okay, I hope uh, that answers your question. Yes, sure, sure, yes, now, yes, mm. oh, three years, now, sure, yes, master, right, um, all right, Mikhail, uh, just want to add to the answer to your question. Uh, if you are considering a particular university that uh, you want to you know pursue your masters in then it will it will be good to check now whether they will accept the degree uh, given by apc and also check other details uh, such as you know how many years should the bachelors be because we are offering a 3 year bachelors there are some universities that may Know, want a four-year bachelor so uh, if we can check all that right now and then decide if we want to continue with our degree here at APC uh, I think that's a, a better way of going about it okay Daniel Oliver okay Daniel is saying he checked but he still not uh, got it fine uh, Daniel so we'll uh, one of our team will call you and we'll just uh, help you out with that Sriraj saying, uh, my question is physically meeting together at APC campus. For e-learners, meeting at APC campus, CLC. Uh, so you can um, attend our Christian Leaders Conference, Sriraj, where we invite uh, you know, pastors from across the country and also our students, our current students as well as alumni. So all our students are welcome to join the Christian Leaders Conference. It happens every January in Bangalore. Generally, it's in the second week of. Fifteen to seventeen. Uh, in 2025, the dates are around 15 to 17 of January. So you can, you know, go ahead, book your tickets now if you'd like. Uh, but please come. Yeah, everyone, please come. Please join in. And that would be a nice time to connect with students, faculty, pastors, uh, and others. Okay, any questions? I think we have addressed all the major questions. Uh, but if you would like to ask any further questions, please write to us at admin at apcbiblecollege.org. We'll do our best to address them. So for now, we will wrap up our second session um, and we'll take a 10 minute break. We'll be back here at 11 a.m. And in our third session this morning, we will study through the book of Laying the Axe to the Root. So for the online students, we request you to please download that publication. It's available on the um, classwork page for you and uh, our on-campus students have physical copies. So see you all in 10 minutes. And thank you so much. Thank you.